Experiments conducted by Miller and Ure proved the theory laid down by Oprin. Oprin uh, gave the hypothesis that the earth consists of, uh, initially it consisted of a reducing atmosphere in which the main components were methane, ammonia, hydrogen and water vapour. And these when combined by some natural processes form the first organic compounds necessary for life and this theory was further demonstrated by Haldane. Haldane was the scientist who worked with Oprin and gave the concept of the origin of life on earth. And after that, two prominent scientists will discuss first one that is Ure. Ure was given Nobel Prize for his findings and whatever he did in the fields of science. He was awarded Nobel Prize for the discovery of the deuterium element. And he wrote a book, The Planets, in which he also mentioned the primitive atmosphere on the planet, that methane was there and hydrogen was there. And his graduate student, uh, Miller, did, a, did an experimental setup to prove the theory laid down by Operin. In order to test this hypothesis, an apparatus was built to circulate methane, ammonia, water and hydrogen past an electric discharge. Water is boiled in the flask, mixes with the gases in the flask, circulates past the electrodes, condenses and empties back into the boiling flask. So the acids and amino acids formed in the discharge not being volatile accumulate in the water phase. So this was the statement given by Stanley L. Minnell. He was just going to prove the hypothesis, he was just, just going to test the hypothesis, right? So in this apparatus, an attempt was made to duplicate a primitive atmosphere of earth and not to obtain the optimum condition. So he simulated the conditions of primitive earth. He didn't optimize the conditions for the formation of organic molecules. Initially it was pink and after a few days what happened, the solution, the water flask turned red and turbid. This is how he found 11 important amino acids that are essential for, for life on earth and how these experiments proved Haldane and Operin theory of the origin of life. So uh, the um, amino acids were left handed and right handed as well and usually in uh, living forms we have left handed amino acids but some bacteria also utilize right handed amino acids also. In, uh, in fact they can utilize and they can even synthesize also. Then after that, many other prominent scientists worked to prove the origin of life from inorganic molecules. They did some experiments based on some electric sparks and some inorganic molecules and formed some substances. But they were so complex that analysis was not made at that time. Certain other scientists formed some organic compounds from inorganic molecules by uh, giving some conditions of the primitive earth and they concluded that life or the organic molecules can be formed from the inorganic ones.